Today we are going to be doing a family activity. What are we doing? Do you know? Tie dye. And what are we putting on our tie dye shirts? Uh, Minnie Mouse. Yeah, Minnie or Mickey Mouse. Let's show ya. So we are using these blank shirts here, and we have a little template to put, make a little chalk outline of Mickey. Well, I think so here here's an example of one of our little shirts for Theo. So he has a little outline here the Mickey head So what you do is out oh, make an outline of the Mickey we had a little Mickey plate <laughs> That we used for this one And then you put your hand on the inside since you, we're just gonna have the Mickey on the front of the shirt then you make an elastic around the portion of the head. And then you do the same thing for the ears. So you see the ear is sticking up there. The smaller shirts are much harder <laughs> yes, <the smaller laughs> to do the ears. <laughs> this is what I found with all the other ones. And then it kind of turns out to be something like this one. This is a larger shirt. You can see how there's the ears on the side, and then that's the Mickey head. And then you can. And that one's like a bullseye. So that one's the one that rings out like a bullseye would. And then the one, if you want like a spiral, you have like your Mickey head, and then you just twist it. Yeah. And it will turn oh, out so this like is the Mickey head up here. And then you spiral it around. So we have two options that we have here. And if you wanted, you could even do, after you have like the Mickey head, you could do stripes. You just pleat it and then um, do like you would normally do with stripes and then you just keep the Mickey out. Yes. Our other resources here, um, we have gloves, a bunch of tie dye, and then a bucket of cold water and baking soda. So our next step after we tie them is to put them in the water and then add some dye to them. Yes. Add some dye. And so, I'm hoping that it works out. The cold water is supposed to make the colors pop a little bit more and we'll see we'll see if it works. We're doing all the Mickeys the same color so that we're sort of matching in some way. Yes. So then each kid can have that's, their own design for their full size. That's the one rule to have your Mickey head be all the same that it stands out. And after they're all dyed, we throw them in a bag or wrap them with saran wrap and throw them in the fridge. For six to eight hours. Yeah, which is also supposed to help it have a brighter color. Let's see how it works. <laughs> okay, let's show you some more of this process. And cue the fun music. So this is the example of doing a striped version. You literally just um, open it up, put it together. It naturally pleads pretty well. If you want it more pleated, you can be that person that gets it very pleated like an accordion, but I am not going to. And then you just go and you do one side and work your way up all the way to the end and then you do the other side. And this will give you your stripes. So here we go, we got 
them all watered up. So we're gonna do the Mickey ears, all the same color. <laughs> Jessie's just wiping her hands off here. We figured the towel can become a tie-dye towel because it's old anyway. It looks a little yeah. gross. Exactly. Here we go. I think I'm gonna make like my dyeing area as much as I can ish over here. Here are the ear or the head, the ears, all the same color. Make sure you flip it. Yeah. The whole thing. This is the most mm -hmm. prominent part. Of and then the this is, you have to make sure you sort of like really rub it in, is what I was told. Not sure all this is, who knows. We're gonna find out when we see it. You can sort of see some of the places I didn't get as I'm sort of opening it up. I wanna make sure I get as much as I can as possible. <laughs> he really wants more pictures. <laughs> There you go, get you, buddy. Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> All, right. All right, there's one Mickey head down. Almost. I'm just gonna sort of open to make sure I got everywhere because this is like the one part I really want to be nice and purple. That one looks like I have it. That looks like, like a little person. <laughs> <laughs> and on to the next go. one. We'll show on you when we go to the next indeed. step. Okay. Of dyeing all of our other colors. Right? Mommy! Yes, I put that one on that. But you say crystal. This is crystal, but you have no. Oh, mommy. What am I? Okie dokie, let's do mine. What do we got here? Red, my favorite color. turn out. Mine kind of mixed all over the place, so that would be very interesting. I just sort of, I think, with like those, well, you know the guy on the hangover? <laughs> His tie-dye shirt? Yeah. That's really how it's going. Let's see. three shirts. I saran wrap them individually so they don't leak any colors onto each other. And then threw them in the bag here. And then this is how you do the one that looks like a spiral. So you do your little sections. Yeah. On the spiral side. Looking good. And our messy spot here we have now. <laughs> we finished doing our tie-dye. Yes. Yeah, so we put it all in this bag here. We surround wrap them so that they don't spread colors to each other. This one too. And we're gonna put them in the fridge and then we're gonna do a little fast forward in our video and then we'll show you how they look afterwards. <laughs> you excited to see your, <laughs> are you showing your new skill? She learned how to blow a balloon recently. Okay, show us. <laughs> where did you, 
Where'd we go? <laughs> Good job. Here we have our tie-dye towel. towel. So we... I'm just going to do some pinchers so that there's like some kind of method to the madness. And I'll just make a little splotch of color. Yeah, we... This is just one of our old towels. So we use it to keep everything else clean. Clean-ish. And we have a lot of leftover dye, so we might as well just use, use it. it all on this. So we'll show you how that turns out as well. And we also have to put these bags into the fridge for about six to eight hours. And that will help give it a little bit more of a brighter color, hopefully. Here we are two days later. We just didn't have time to do it after 24 hours, but we're going to take them out unwrap them, and then wash the dye out. So here are all of our shirts that we have tie-dyed. We are going to rinse them out until the water is clear, and then we will give them a wash. Some other techniques are to let them dry first, then put them in the dryer, then rinse them out. But with the kit that we got, it told us to rinse them out first and then wash them after. So we're going to show you the washing out process and then we will put them in the washer and show you the final results. See if our Mickey head tie-dye shirts panned out. Okay, we're gonna wash out the tie-dye. Tie wash it out until None of the dye is coming out anymore. It's going to be clear water. You can see at the bottom there, there's still lots of dye. So we will show you the rest, or the results after we wash them all out. So everybody close I don't them. know. Let's see how it turns out. This one I'm not sure about because, well. Spiral one. It's my spiral one. Kinda, yeah. There's Mickey ears there. Yep, there is. There's a Mickey! First In one. the back is fun. That's a cool looking one. Okay, I stopped it. Here comes Zuri shirt. Look how perfect your Mickey is. <gasps> Yay! And then look, it looks like you have a flower in the back. That's cool. Oh. You guys, look, it works. Mickey tie dye. Oh, look at your Mickey sh shirt, Theo. Let's see. Wow, A little striped. Your Mickey in the no, front. No, she's gonna do it later. No. <gasps> Is this yours? Yes. You see, that's mine. <laughs> okay, we rinse them all out, and before we wash them, we're gonna do another little rinse, and then we're gonna wash them. But here are the final results. It's a little Theo shirt. That's a Theo shirt as well. We have Zuri shirt here. This one looked, turned out pretty cool. That one's my shirt. We have Jesse's two shirts there, tank top and a regular shirt. And then her tank top's a little bit more. One of the least prominent ones, but they all turned out great. Comment below to let me know, or let us know which one turned out to be your favorite. Okay, we're gonna go wash them, dry them, and then we'll show you what the final, final product looks like.